Hello guys, it's me, Red the Ebed Dinosaur, and today in Forza Horizon 5 with the Lamborghini Aventador Ultima, one of the new vehicles for this update that was released this Thursday. If you want to check more about the JDM Jubal's car pack, you can check it out on the Eye on the Sky. I made quite a good review right there. And also, I really have to apologize for the lack of uploads last weekend. I was actually taking a break. I wasn't feeling to review the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. Uh, EVs are cool. I don't mind any of them. I think they are fine. But... On a video game, I kind of feel burned out, especially because the Kia EV6 and many, and the Ionic and many others were kind of uh, not exactly good to review, and they didn't do very well on the algorithm. So I just decided, you know, I'm just gonna take a break and just move along and just wait for the next weekend and and get the the other review going. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's start with the Lamborghini Aventador Ultima. Well, plenty of Aventadors we got in the game. This is the newest one and the last one for the Lamborghini brand. We already moved with the Revolto. That is basically its replacement. And it, this car has actually the most powerful B12 engine, the naturally aspirated B12, because, well, the Revolto has a hybrid powertrain. And 780 horsepower, quite cool, but overall makes me question why we have already too much Aventadors. I think we have a lot of them. We have the 2012 version that you can call it the base model. We have the Aventador J the SB, the, the SBJ, and I don't know if there is any other one. I think that, well, if you want to include all the Aventador base special versions, like for example, the, the Veneno, the Centenario, the SC20, like all those other cars are pretty much risking Aventadors. Well, that's, uh, that's on you. I'm not gonna go further into this rabbit hole of why this the Force of Horizon 5 is just adding too much of the of the same model of a car. But let's go further in the performance. Well, this is one of the most well-behaved Lambos. Well, especially when it comes to Aventadors. We already have the SBJ that is very track focused and drives very well. And the SB also does that pretty good. In this one, it's kind of like a touring version of the SB. I was expecting more uh, of the top speed because, well, obviously on the SBJ, you had like aerodynamics going on and they are pretty powerful and kind of slow you down. I thought when, on this, it will be quite, it, it, ha, it will have better top speed. But you will see on a video that I'm going to launch very soon that this is not the case, but it's still it, it, it drives very well, kind of like an STO in some way, so not bad at all, but this also gonna go for this and it's like how many variants of the Aventador you have that you don't need the, the Ultima, unless you are like a big collector or you like the Aventador a lot. Because in this scenario, well, you can just get a 2012 Aventador and actually just max it out to S S1900 and get quite of a good result. It's not like it's gonna drive as good as this, but you're gonna still be very competitive. Not along if you already have an SVJ or you bought an SV, you can actually get the same results or even better results with a better tune. So begs the question of why this car is here. Well, this car was one of the most requested cars in the Forza forums. <laughs> like, guys, I think there are better picks than another Aventador. <laughs> Just gonna say that. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't. I, I'm not exactly a fan of it. I, it drives really good, but if you want to skip it and wait for a, an actual new car. Not that or skin version, because, well, it, it even sounds the same as the other Aventadors. Like, only the SB kind of sounds a bit different, and, and that's like a bit. Just that, but, well, that's the car you get 
for these 20 points and you can just get it for in 10 minutes and there you go but yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you very much let me know in the comment section what do you think about the lamborghini aventador ultima if you are a fan of it or not or you like a lot of aventadors well let me know all in the comment section right below so yeah guys thank you very much and see you on the next one goodbye